This is Charlie Flo, World Sports Show. I'm here with Sofia Huerta of the Chicago Red Stars. I want to welcome you to the show, and thank you for calling in. Oh, thanks for having me. So you're a rookie, but you've been very busy. It's a very interesting year when you have a lot of players going up to World Cups that a lot of players are getting thrown to the fire right away. What's this been like for you, just you know, having a starting role and just being an impact player right away? Well, I think anyone would agree as a rookie that this is probably the best year to come in because we actually have an opportunity, um, especially with the World Cup players left. Now we had to step up, and I wasn't necessarily doing the best that I could have the first couple games while they were here, and there was a few games that I didn't start. So I knew once they left that that was my opportunity to actually show Rory and Chicago Red Stars and even the league that I could actually score <laughs> because I was not doing that. Um, but, yeah, I know it's been a great opportunity, and we're excited to have them back. Obviously, we're happy that they're doing well at the World Cup, but um, I think individually, and it's nice um, to take the opportunity and uh, show what I have while they're gone, but it's going to be even better when they're here so I can learn from them. What's this whole year been like for you? You go off to the draft, you get picked by Chicago, and now you're playing ball. I mean, we're just talking about six months, all has gone down. What's the six months been like for you? The six months has been so emotional. Um, it's been all over the map, especially because um, it's not like I'm – like I left college. I think that was kind of the most difficult thing is you establish yourself at a university and, you know, you're, you've are you played under someone. Like I played with Jerry Smith for four years and I became best friends with all these girls and then I'm pursuing my dreams along the way and then the dreams finally happen and then you kind of have to say goodbye to – where your heart's been for a long time. And so that was super emotional. Um, it took us, you know, a couple weeks to get over that. But then once I got here and I realized, like, hey, this is what I've been working towards, um, I couldn't be happier. And I've made some pretty good friends here, and I love the club. And Rory and the coaching staff is great. So um, I would say after, over the past six months, it's been super emotional. I mean, there were times where I was sad and happy. And then obviously throughout games, you feel a bunch of emotions, whether you win or you lose or you play well. So um, I felt basically every emotion you can feel sure <laughs> ever is. these last six months. I'm sure, those emotions were pretty raw the first time you, you see your name on the back of a pro jersey and then you get to step on the field. What was that that first game like? I, actually, the first game was was probably really nerve wracking for me more than it probably should have been. Honestly, I've kind of always been a player that um, makes things more than they should be, and my coach is always well. Jerry Smith always used to get on me for that, so I think. Um, me personally maybe made it a bigger deal than it should have been and it actually affected my play a little bit in our first game of when we played Seattle um but after I played the first game I had to basically tell myself like you know how to play soccer just because you are playing against some of the big dogs doesn't mean you can't compete so the first game I got a little bit too emotional about it um but it was I mean it was fun obviously stepping on the field with like press or Pino and just some of the best players and some of the girls that are part of the U.S. team. It was nerve-wracking for sure, but I think I maybe held it to a higher regard than I should have because <laughs> it definitely affected some of the things that I did on the pitch. Now, during the season so far, you've been you know, nominated Player of the Week a couple times. You were Player of the Month for May. I mean, what, what does that do for you? You know, a lot of players rather, you know, get the results and not so worry much about the personal mm -hmm. accolades, but what are, what are some of the personal, you know, you know goals and, and these awards? What does it do for you personally? So I think, you know, I've been asked this question actually a few times, and I I always try to answer it the same way because it's true. But I think um, when you get awarded for something that you've worked hard towards, obviously in the past, you know, 15 years of my life I've been playing soccer. So now that I'm awarded, you know, player of the week a few times and or a couple of times and then player of the month, it's, it feels good. Like I, can, I would be lying to you if I said it doesn't matter. It does feel good. But what I would say is that it's totally because of – Chicago, the Chicago Red Stars in the club, because if you look at all the goals that I've scored, um, actually all of them are assisted. None of them are me dribbling up the field or doing anything crazy or, you know, getting the goal myself. They're all assisted 100%. And um, one thing our coach said was kind of like, hey, congrats, Sophia, but congrats to you guys too and pointed at the team because Chicago hasn't been known for um, getting a lot of awards with individuals or for the team or anything. In the past couple of years, they've actually been – on the lower half of the spectrum. So it says a lot about the program and the players and the coaches that we are getting these, we're, I guess we're getting recognized and our team's, you know, first place right now. So if anything, it's more of a tribute to 
how well we're doing as a team. Um, but clearly, I'm excited. Like I said, I'd be lying if I if I said I wasn't. I think that all of us out there that coach and play the game, you know, feel like we're always going to be students of the game. How much do you feel like you've learned the last few months just joining on Chicago and being under Coach Rory Dames? Yeah, so I learned a lot under Jerry Smith, and he helped me a bunch. But when you come play pro, it's just a whole different ball game. So, of course, I still take some of the tactics that Jerry Smith taught me, but now that I'm playing at a faster pace, and there's he Rory needs something different out of me than Jerry needed out of me in college. So I have learned a lot more being here, and that has nothing to do with what Jerry taught me. He just needed something different. So um, in terms of the speed and the, like, reading the game better and just you don't get a lot of opportunities in pro, so just always, like, focusing before you shoot or cross or anything like that. But um, Rory's helped me a lot. He's, he's a pretty passionate guy, and he's tough on us because he knows we have potential, and I think that's always something that I've needed um, because I know I can always be better. So always constantly having him telling me what I need to do differently actually has helped me a bunch, and I'm super appreciative appreciative of him now you guys look at your you guys in the standing you're still on first place you know you guys really haven't missed much of a beat here in the in the break going into the break with the world cup players missing you know what was what was some of the message going to these games when you're missing some of your key players but just to still play your same style of ball yeah so that was actually i mean it was i think we have a really good group of girls so we knew that when the world cup players left that we this was like a great opportunity for us. And that's how we looked at it. And that's how Rory wanted us to look at it as well. And so we all got in our heads that once they left that, well, when they left, we were first place and we all told ourselves and concluded as a team that when they get back, we still want to be first place. So I think we took initiative of proving ourselves and um, I guess letting the league know that even though we have eight national team players that are at the world cup, that we can still play and we're going to still try to fight to be in that first place slot. Um, and yeah, we just decided that we needed to step step up, and I think that we've done that so far. What's it been like for you watching the World Cup, seeing your teammates like Press coming up with a huge goal in their first game against Australia, and just watching Julie Johnson just develop into a mainstay in the central backfield? Yeah, so of course it's, I mean, it's just crazy. It's, it kind of seems like a, a dream. Like, what? I played Kristen Press? <laughs> like, yeah. that's crazy. And I played with Julie all growing up, so um, personally, it's awesome to see. Kristen because I've had a chance to be with her or work with her for a couple weeks and then to see her succeed is just it's I mean it's a great thing to see she always stays after practice and has a lot of there takes a lot of shots on goal and you know you always want someone to look up to and to be honest I would say Kristen's probably that person for me in terms of position wise just because um I don't know we play we play the same position and then I'm so excited for Julie I, I I'm sure you know this but I play I've played soccer with Julie since I was 14 and then I She's a big reason why I went to Santa Clara, and quite honestly, she's a huge reason why I'm here. Uh, Rory said that Julie, like, called him multiple, multiple times fighting for me. So to see her be so successful, especially since I've been watching her since we were really young, it, it I mean, it makes me so happy, and she deserves it more than anyone because she's such a hard worker, and she's so smart and well-rounded and can play basically any position. And I played forward and mid with her, so to see her killing it and set her back's a little weird, but... I'm not surprised. She could be a really good goalie, too, I'm sure. I'm sure she. you've donated part of your salary towards her, right? Yeah, <laughs> 10%. And, and just the idea of going into the pro and just you know coming into a new new bunch of, of teammates, I've heard so many great stories about a league, how a lot of teams are very accepting of a new player coming in because, you know, we always – not that there's such thing as hazing, but, you know, there's always that, hey, rookie type thing. But the stories that I've heard around the end of is is that – you know, a lot of veterans push you. They want you to do well because they see how contagious it can be on the field. Oh, yeah. I've never, not once have I ever felt that I've been a rookie other than the fact that I have a ball back and I have to pump up balls and I have to make <laughs> sure you don't lose any balls. But other than that, I mean, everyone, they we, we all just want to win. Like, that's the bottom line. And if you're a rookie or a second year or a veteran, like, if you're playing well and you're showing, no one's going to care how old you are. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't felt any like inequality or anything i feel super included and i know everyone appreciates me as a person and the rest of the rookies so it's been great here i'm sure it's the same everywhere else but chicago especially has been phenomenal yeah it's pretty much the same around the league and i think a neat part is 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 the accessibility that you guys have into the fans you have a lot of these young girls that really 
didn't really have a lot of role models growing up that, you know, I, there wasn't a pro league for women up until the last few years, you know, there's been leagues coming and going, but just, just seeing some of these young girls coming and taking pictures with you, what does that mean for you just to have some of these girls that were probably in the same position you as a little girl? Yeah. I mean, it means basically everything because if it weren't for them and it weren't for the support they give us, we probably wouldn't have a league because we wouldn't generate enough money. So obviously it, I res- that's awesome in that sense but just having having someone look up to you for just like following your dreams you don't think is a big deal but in reality it is so I guess it's rewarding and you know it's I get happy when someone wants to take a picture of me or a selfie or ask for my autograph I'm always like what me <laughs> but like obviously it, it's, it's rewarding and it feels good when someone wants to something from you whether that's a picture or autograph now, what has the city of Chicago been like? We, we were talking about the weather, how it can be hot, and it can be very fluctuating. How's that? Because, I mean, you grew up in, like, Idaho. You were out at Santa Clara. But what's been like just being in the city of Chicago? <laughs> well, the weather – okay, so I'm from Idaho. It has all four seasons, whatever. But I lived in California the past four years, and I definitely have adapted to the sunshine 24-7. So coming to Chicago, I was like, it is so cold here, and it rains, and I miss California. But – I heard that Chicago in the summer is the best city to be in. So as long as the rain stays away, I'm going to be happy. But it has been – definitely has been different weather for me. But, I mean, not that big of a deal. I guess I'm kind of a baby, though. Now we're looking at this season like some of your success, you know, that – you know, are there some things that you could really just, you know, nail down? This is this is why I'm doing well. You know, just like a message for young players out there, young girls, that, hey, when you move up to another level, you know, what are some things to expect in some of your, you know, game day prep, some of the way you practice, some things that you do? Well, I would just say the biggest thing, especially for me, and it might be a lot different for other players, but I was never really involved in the national team, and I wasn't the biggest or highest recruit in college, and it's not like I was a first-round draft pick in the league, so I kind of always felt like people have doubted me, slash I've kind of always doubted myself, so the biggest thing for me is just always remembering there's always remembering that you're here for a reason and you're good enough and you know you're here because well for me especially because I can score and I can compete here and I guess I'll never doubt that and just always staying level-headed like not going through high highs and not going through low lows and just realizing that as long as you're staying at a even kill level the more successful you'll be Um, because I know at a young age there's a lot of like oh, I'm not playing well, and people get slept, and then it's like, oh, you score three goals, and you're really on this roller coaster to your, your highest peak, and then you go down again, and that's the worst thing you can do. So just staying, like, even would be my best advice to anyone who's trying to, um, I guess, make it to the next level. And I guess game day rituals, ugh. see, I've never really been good at this. Jerry always told me, hey, you need to have the same routine every day, but um, – I guess I one thing I really do continuously before, I guess, routine, the routine I do every day before a game would be just visualizing myself. So I always try to visualize myself scoring because as a forward, that's what you need to do. Your team's depending on you to get that goal. So I always go through like five to seven ways, different ways that I can visualize myself scoring, and that always seems to help me. Um but, I don't know, the night before the game, I, us- I usually watch film and just try to tell myself to fix things I didn't do well in the previous game. But, I don't know. <laughs> That's basically it. Well, it seems a lot more advanced than some players. But, you know, again, I want to I wanna thank you for your time. I know you had a hard-working session today. And I want to wish you good luck. You guys are getting right back in the swing playing this weekend against Washington. And yep. wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me.